Hey guys, welcome. Yeah, so, um, it's summer. It makes no sense being dressed like this. <laughs> um, or does it? Um, okay, anyway, I showed you how to do integral from zero to infinity of sine theta over theta d theta in three different ways. And all three were really cool. So uh, check out those videos. And by the way, I said theta, not x. And as you'll see, that's good teaching. <laughs> okay, um, all right. But yeah, clearly the topic at hand is, what is this integral, right? All right, turns out that it's really fun. So uh, to start, um, Recall that one version of the cosine double angle formula says that cosine 2x is equal to 1 minus 2 sine squared x. Yeah? Okay, so then manipulating this equation, we could write the cosine 2x uh, minus 1 divided by negative 2 is equal to sine squared x. Like that, right? Okay, but wait, this is the same as writing a half times 1 minus cosine uh, 2x um, equals sine squared x, right? Okay, cool, cool, cool. So we're going to use this uh, and substitute for sine squared there. So to start, we're going to write, well, we can write the 1 half in front, yeah? And then we could go uh, 0 to infinity, and then now we have 1 minus, 1 minus cosine um, 2x, right, uh, and of course over x squared uh, dx, yeah? Okay, cool. Um, now, where to from here is a question, and um, perhaps this next bit is like probably uh, the best part um, of this, and that is this, which is, well, we can write this um, as a fair replacement of the last step and that is this um, um, and then right there is nothing wrong with writing this in place of what I had had before. First, 1 over x and that make the x squared that I need in the denominator. And then, cosine of 0x is just cosine of 0, which is 1. So that's that. And then minus cosine 2x and the rest is as I had had before. And so we're good, right? Okay, cool. But, 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 but wait. But wait, this last step, right, is the same as writing this, uh, which is um, 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 so, yeah, <laughs> okay, whoa, what did I just do? Well, 1 over x is 1 over x, and then this integral, this here, right, uh, is integrating with respect to t. It's integrating with respect to t, so x is treated as a constant. So the antiderivative of um, sine tx is going to be negative cosine tx, and if you evaluate negative cosine tx from uh, 0 to 2, you will get exactly what I have here. In other words, what's in the parentheses here in that step is identical to what's in the parentheses here in this step. Yeah? Cool. Um, okay. So where to from here? Well, this um, x now, as long as we're integrating with respect to t, is like a constant, so we can throw it inside of here. Yeah? Okay. And then what? Well, next, let's do this, which is swap the limits of integration. So if we swap the limits of integration, then we can write this here, which is that what we have here is the same as 1 half and then integral 0 to 2, swapping limits of integration, and then 0 to infinity, and then um, sine uh, tx um, 
over x dx dt. So we don't just swap the integral signs, we also have to swap like what we're the order of integration, <laughs> like that's what this is about, right? <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Now where to from here? Well, how about here? How about, well, since now we have to integrate with respect to x first, if we say uh, a t here, because since we're integrating with respect to x, uh, t is a constant. So I just multiplied by t in the denominator, so I need to multiply by t in the numerator, but I prefer to uh, do that in this part. I just erase the dx to make room, and then a dt. Okay, anyway, I'll, I'll put the t here, and then dx. So this t right there in front of dx is to make up for that t I put in the denominator. Okay, cool. Now, remember I said good teaching? <laughs> So if we let theta equal tx, right, then what happens? Well, the um, limits of integration here are not going to change, right, as um, x um, goes to 0, so does theta, and as x uh, goes to infinity, so does um, theta, um, and d theta is going to equal t dx. So t dx right here will turn into d theta uh, with this small substitution. And then this turns t x is theta. t x is theta. Ah, we have integral from 0 to infinity of sine theta over theta d theta. But wait, uh, we said that we have three videos where I showed you that in all three videos, <laughs> consistently it equaled pi over 2. So what I'm saying is that this fella here is um, equal to pi over 2. So we have a half integral from 0 to 2 of pi over 2 dt. But wait, half of this integral is going to be pi over 2 itself. So our final answer is pi over 2. Wait, so we squared sine and x and did the integral. And it's the same as like the integral where sine and x aren't squared. OK. Um, <laughs> is that like, yeah. Yeah. That's interesting, isn't it? OK. Uh, keep watching. Take care.